Gonna get in? If it's ready, yeah. That's her. We missed the tram, dang it. We're not in a rush. <laughs> We're, oh, look at that. I bet you guys are wondering, Riss, what's wrong? Why are you mad? Well, let's rewind it back and see how we got here. My guys, we are on the back road to Vegas. Don't tell anyone, but <laughs> when the freeway them. backs up, God says, I have another plan. Good morning. Good morning. We are on our way to the gym. We're working out on vacation. It you is, have to. You do. Right. It's Wednesday, so it's like it's a weekday out here. Mm -hmm. So this is what we do on the weekdays, Monday through Friday. So I'm like, we should really do it out here, especially with all the food <laughs> that we will be consuming. Yeah. So that's what we're about to do. Guys, believe it or not, we made it to the gym every day on vacation. Not only did we make it to the gym, we also did Lori Harvey's treadmill workout. After the gym, we walked around the Aria and got ready for a reservation at Caesar Palace. And guess who we ran into? Yes! Yes! That's AK. She's the reason we're here. No. <laughs> yes, AK. If you got. If, if they've seen the um, Nigerian food video, You've seen it. yeah, she was in the video where Risa was trying some Nigerian food. Yeah, that's my girl. That's her right there. That's my day one. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but anyways, I guess we just hang out here for a bit. What did you say? If it's ready, yeah. That's her. <laughs> we missed the tram, dang it. We're in a rush. <laughs> We're, oh, look at that. This whole tram mishap almost ruined vacation. So I don't know if you guys heard, but that man was so upset that he missed his tram. And me and Caleb were laughing and Caleb was recording him. And I didn't want the man to turn his anger towards us. And now we were rushing to get to Hell's Kitchen. <laughs> We missed the tram, dang it. Guys, after missing the tram, we were scrambling to make it to Hell's Kitchen on time. We were walking through hotels, rushing, you know, all kinds of things. But luckily, we made it. We're here for our 2.30 reservation. We made it on time. You guys should be proud of us. Look at Caleb, all smiles, ready to eat. You can't even tell we missed our tram. If you guys don't know already, me and Caleb are planners. So, of course, we had our whole meal planned out. This was our second time at Hell's Kitchen. The first time, we did not get the beef wellington. Why? Because Caleb and I are also frugal. So this time we made sure that that was on the list. Let's get into these scallops. Just look at Caleb's face. He rated them a 10 out of 10. These Brussels sprouts were one of the best Brussels sprouts I've had. The star of the show, the beef wellington, was cooked to perfection, guys. 10 out of 10 would recommend. 
Also, shout out to our waiter, Casey. He was the best. He gave us complimentary ginger ale to celebrate our anniversary. I know I said the beef wellington was the star of the show. Well, the sticky toffee pudding was the co-star of the show. This is one of the best desserts me and Caleb have had thus far. Oh, let me tell you what it tastes like. It's like gingerbread cookie slash, um, what's that stuff we get? That butter cake slash butter cake slash just like toffee flavoring slash it's warm slash moist like okay. pow in your mouth. How was the food today? 10 out of 10. Recommend. Yep. Delicious. <laughs> Very much so. <laughs> After Hell's Kitchen, we walked around to walk off all the good food, of course. We walked to the Bellagio and it was so crowded. Who would have known that Vegas was like a mini New York during the holidays? Because we had no idea. Remember I told you guys we're frugal? Well, guess what? Casinos and frugal people do not mix. Look at us. Five dollars in the slot machine. Rissa is going for black. <laughs> After the casino, we needed some comfort food, so we headed to 303 in the cut. Let's get into these fries. These fries were just the perfect comfort food. Everything was just cooked to perfection, flavors, and all of that. You can tell by the looks on our face, but before enjoying these fries, when we were standing in line in the cut, these guys come out of the club about to fight, and it was just a mess. Besides all that, the owner of the food truck was very kind, and the food was great. <music> Guys, the last time we did a food video and Callie was here. Come in, Callie. We got so many views on that video. That's She's true. back. Wait, <laughs> let's get this that video. That was the Nigerian food video. Yes. Oh, yes, guys. Let's get this video up, too, because she's back. Special appearance. <laughs> Special appearance. <laughs> yeah. This spot made it on our vlog because of the story behind this restaurant. When we showed up, the owner of the restaurant had recently passed away. Yet, his family was holding down the fort, carrying on his legacy, serving the community with hospitality and love. Yes, guys, that's me getting ready in the lobby because we were running late to our reservation. We're running kind of late for our 10 p.m. reservation. And they said there's a 15 minute grace period. And then we it. get here at 10 15. I do not recommend a late reservation, but with Carbone, you take what you can get. This restaurant is usually booked months in advance. Carbone was a vibe. We walked in, the music was right, the ambiance, and the food. Everything was great. Okay, so this spicy reggaetoni, guys, oh my gosh. Mouth-watering, 10 out of 10. This Caesar salad was prepared at our table. The house-made Caesar dressing, the croutons were tossed, everything was great. Look at us dancing, having a good time. We ate, we left no crumbs, we ate it up. <laughs> 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 
Badogas did not disappoint. From the customer service and the food, Caleb and I will be back. And this place is black owned and these are some of the best breakfast sandwiches we have ever had. This is my favorite part when we turn off the camera and we can really eat. This wouldn't be a CNR vacation without a little shopping. So, what better way than to hit up William Sonoma in one of my favorite stores? If you know, Hit that subscribe button and leave a comment below. <laughs> Life goes on, the work never stops. <laughs> Do you guys know where I'm going? If you know me, you know where I'm going. Right. If they've watched any videos, they know what's about to happen. <laughs> There she go. If you guess Nordstrom's, you were right. Our favorite store on the planet. I got the bag. <laughs> Ladies, I don't know if I'm the only one, but in order to get Caleb to come shopping with me, I always have to bribe him with a little treat. We hit up Sorry Not Sorry Creamery. And this ice cream shop is one of the best. It's up there with afters. Mm -hmm. He knows first when he's like, mm -hmm, why are you eating? Did they say they get their stuff from California? Yeah. yeah That's very do. interesting. You need to move back your whole mouth in my video. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done with you. Get out. So good. The way you act, act, act. <laughs> it's the way you act. Yo, I should have brought a melt. 